All life forms that we know of require water. There's life that can live without oxygen. Um, there's life that can live without most of the elements that we find in air. Uh, there is there's bacteria that metabolizes the energy bond between the uh, iron and the oxide in rust. That's their energy. Well, if we take the rain that naturally falls on a site, we capture it, we store it, we distribute it in such a manner that it can actually grow more life, not just plant life. Uh, the life itself, as it grows, has water in every single cell, so therefore it's a storage battery and it's storing water on the site. And the next rain that comes down, we can have more life and more life and more life. Well, once that water begins to flow, if it goes away, it's gone forever. It's gone from the site, we can't get it back. It's running downhill in a channel, it's erosive, it's picking up silt and mud and manure with it, and it's you know polluting the streams. Well, we're gonna catch it, spread it out, redistribute it, um, and then soak it in where it needs to be soaked in. Then we can store that, that water in the spaces between soil particles. We can store it in the biological sponge uh, of organic matter. We can store it in biofilms of water film around every single uh, grain of soil. And we can store it in life forms itself. That water then can be used later for increased um, productivity of, of plants.